What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We're back here with Red Dead. We're here by Bao Gray, I think. I think that's how you say his name. Uh, we went last time we had to sneak like, well, not this la last time we found, we did that stranger mission with, okay. with the, you know, uh, the, that, that dude, you know, that dude, <laughs> uh, which was interesting. I almost died with a knife. Uh, the dude almost killed me with a knife, you know, as usual, as it goes. But a few okay, episodes boy. ago, we snuck into the mansion because they have like this whole Romeo and Juliet thing going on, I think. Because like this gray loves the brave weight, but the brave weight is, and the grays are like mortal enemies, you know, something like that, something like that. But anyway, let's go back to gray. Remember me? Working for the Greys now. All right, come on. Thank you. Dee, 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 dee. Dee, 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 dee. Oh wait, wrong way. <laughs> wait, where? Where's? Where is he? Is he like hiding out somewhere? Where are you, Mr. Gray? I think she get like I, apparently I'm a messenger now. There we go. Alrighty, let's do this. That's a that's a pretty nice looking horse. Yo. You got my money. <laughs> sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. It'll cost <laughs> you. Yeah. Uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. Hmm. Oh, my God. What a woman. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She's. This will get her killed for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They bring back the monarchy given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me. I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. Wait, why are you marrying your but cousin, gonna... bro? What the hell is They'll going on? They'll kill her at one here. of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Damn it. Fine. What am I doing now? Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Damn it. Okay, where are we going? Mount up, all right. And follow me to Rose. Okay. Come on, come on. Yeah. We'll go around the property and take the road to town. All right. So what is your plan exactly here, dude? Like, are we gonna like rescue her out, or what? What are we doing? We don't get there in time. My true love may be shot. I mean, I, I, I guess. If she wants to rally. Yeah, this is a beautiful horse he has. Good here. as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her Fair honor. Enough, I get I'm that. I'm sure they know what they're doing. Um, I don't think they do. There, there they are. you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Don't be... Do something. What am I supposed to do? What? Fight this mob? They eat me alive. <laughs> this is no <laughs> They eat me alive. Sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you, 
I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll Wait. allow us to shout but why am I... louder. Oh, Hooray! no. Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally, I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, man. <laughs> well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? I mean, I, I guess. Right, I, I just, yeah. We know our song is a good one. I don't want you guys to be killed. Like, he's a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. Well, now, um, I guess I joined the, the march. <laughs> Let's go. Woo. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Mm -hmm. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick, and not too slow. Wait. We need them to hear our Now how am I supposed to... Well, they'll okay. hear it all right. <laughs> very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? Uh, uh... Just driver, Mrs. Yeah, I I don't Maybe think I am. Shotgun messenger, if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun. No, to but yourself. what if what what if they try and Stay shoot you? On Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. <laughs> the exciting part is they might shoot you. Then I'm gonna have to shoot people. Uh oh. Um, I'm I'm kind of a um, a deputy sheriff. Uh, <laughs> I don't think this is a sin to me. I give you the mail of the species. Well, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant you. I mean, yeah, yeah. Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. Those are the steps, Mr. Morgan. Stop in front there, and then all you need to do is listen. Okay. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Well? Come on! Come on! Go home! Shut your mouth! What the hell is going on? Well, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. Right. Oh. For today is the day we begin to live as equal. Equal! Oh. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. I don't know about that. Yeah. Okay. Equal and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Oh, yeah. Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly old goat. <laughs> <laughs> His philosophy hey. dependent Shh. on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Uh -oh. Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. <laughs> darling cousin. What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. It stopped them from ruining the speech. <laughs> you need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. <laughs> Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always will. Bo, why don't we just leave him? <laughs> well, who the hell is this? Bro, this Follow me, run. Oh, uh, you're about to get an ass whooping? Yes. Come on. Yes. Can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We are all We gotta go before they think twice. Oh lord. Then get on your damn horse. Me, I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. Okay. Good. So I can get give these two an ass whooping. I feel like this is a good good thing. Yes. Come on. Let's go. You don't wanna go back? Hear the speeches? <laughs> I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. <laughs> I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. I mean, my cousins are my primary concern right now. If 
everyone knows about Penelope and me. Everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all ten True. minutes. Sooner it's out. Sooner it's resolved. Yes and no. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Mm. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them. That deep. might be why you guys keep fighting. Your fighting. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right. You know, yeah. Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. Mm. But I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. Yeah, you should. I will. As soon as I have enough money, when my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh... They keep me out of the discussions. I mean, I have probably more for of a, a reason, I guess. Artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? <laughs> yes. Oh, you made a joke. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here. Thank your payment. You. Thank you. Excuse me. Thank you very much. I mean, thank you. Thirty dollars, easy work for just a ride. I mean, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. Ooh, which one do we go for now? Actually, how far away is this? Oh, the fence is pretty close. I want to go to that fence and sell some stuff. All right, see you at the fence. Well, I I was on my hey, way Mr. over there, but then this dude. Give me some money. Sure. Sure. It's just dollar. I just got thirty. Well, thank you. Say, say, where you from? Around. <laughs> you ain't from around right here. Well, yeah. If that was you. I'd leave. This town lost its goddamn so long time ago. <laughs> I mean, it's nasty, miserable it's okay for now. Yeah? Yeah, ever since them, them greys moved here, they a bunch of no-good white trash. Yeah, they, they somehow got rich about 50 years ago. They moved here, caused a whole heap of trouble. Yeah, I reckon they was, reckon they was Yankee spies during the war and everything. Okay. That's uh, so. Yeah, sure. Well, all right. <laughs> I mean, hey, let's go. Let's go to this fence. Respect from us as a sign of respect to our creator, we pay respect to the dead. I mean, hello. Oh, Father, what do we say hello, about a man who lost his way so awfully? Tell us straight, Father. Sir, we're in a moment of grief. Uh, oh, okay. So, what, what now? He carried that awful war with him, rustling horses with a misguided gang of killers. Okay. A brave man, undone by pride, doomed. Sure. To life <laughs> I'm getting all these random encounters now. <laughs> I thought I'm just gonna like sell the stuff at the fence. Hey, and then we'll go to one of the other missions. Somebody's had a <laughs> few. <laughs> Alrighty. Hello there, sir. Welcome back, friend. Yep. Got anything good? I for do me actually. Chance? I got this sure. platinum pocket watch for twelve dollars. Uh, no, I don't want to sell that. An emerald for fifty dollars. Good then. Platinum band. Uh, got all of this. There's an extra twelve dollars. Thank you very much. Got the gold pocket watches. Boom. Not bad. This. Sell that as well. 
uh, the belt buckles, of course. Uh, no questions asked. And a wedding, a couple of wedding rings. There we go. A pen given to Arthur by Jimmy Brooks. I feel like I shouldn't sell that. But the gunslinger cards and stuff, I, I want to keep those because I can sell it to that other dude for like a lot of money if I have a full set. Soon. Of course, I need a full set. Okay. We made let's some money. Go now, let's see the map. Uh, Abigail or Lenny? Abigail or Lenny? Abigail needs to speak to you. Lenny needs to speak to you. Preaching forgive us as he went. Advertising the new American art. Okay. Wait, why didn't I make a marker? Goodness me. Make a marker. Let's go there. Alright, catch you at the camp. Okay, we're here at the camp. We're here at the camp. Now, do I go to Abigail or Lenny? I think I should go to Lenny first. Go to my guy Lenny. Because we talked to Abigail, I think, a few episodes ago. And Lenny is like more than like 10 episodes ago. So let's talk to yeah. them first. Fishing trip I could do too, but not now. Alrighty. You know what? Do we go for a wardrobe update? What do you think? Arthur. Maybe not. Yes. Hello. Somebody said Arthur. <laughs> Got you there, tough guy. <laughs> Just name the place, my friend. Oh wow. Just name the place. Damn. <laughs> What do you think of the place? I don't know. So far, it seems okay, I guess. I think that there is rich pickings for some carpetbaggers like us. Fair enough. Hmm. Is that what we are, is it? Avenging your father's death? Damn, look at the chopping in the background. 30 years? There's gold, Arthur. Where is the gold? If you say so. Where is this gold, bro? Good morning. Like your new home? I won't miss that other place. Eh? Fair enough. Let's wear this for one more episode and then offline I will, I will like, maybe change up the wardrobe a little bit, you know? Arthur. Yes, kid. What up, Lenny? You got a lot on? What can I do for you, Lenny? Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is... Out there, just waiting to be stolen. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east okay. of here. Who think they war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. All right. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Okay. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well. I mean, I like it. Worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. Let's go, Lenny. Let's do this. At least I trust Lenny's intel, bro. Cause, cause like the other dude, he keeps letting us rob corn. All right then, let's go rob some fools. <laughs> let's go rob some fools. I love this dude. I love Lenny. Freaking that other dude, this dude. Yeah, yeah, him, him, Bill. You okay, Uncle. Good morning. Freaking this guy, bro. Oh yeah, we should go rob this. There's no problems, and then freaking immediately there's a problem. It's this way, on me. I'm with you. Mm -mm -mm. So Lenny, you uh, you gonna tell me more about this job? You know, 
I might have met these crazies before. Okay. You've been drinking again? No. <laughs> well. Oh yeah, I was about to say. Well, yes. <laughs> no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler. Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. Oh, when we shot him down. He's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the okay. same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lamar. Fair enough. That's for sure. I mean, yeah, you got a good point. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. Yeah, it could be different. Got a manner about him. But I haven't necessarily noticed. Okay. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. I mean that's fair. I call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like Wait, this. Wait, hold up. What? But most oh, of boy. it is a a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Goodness. Well, me. Out okay. west. It's out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Like decent folks. Okay. But some places down here they judge different. Man, that sucks. Well, no. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shiny. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> hey, fair so enough, Lenny. Aim for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. Yeah, Lenny, let's do it. Ah, okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. Oof. I guess yeah. it does. Yeah, we're gonna get to the Blackwater story at some point, right? Because I feel like we... It was a lot, a lot going on there. Oh, I thought he was about to turn in there. I was like, isn't that the Grays? Are we <laughs> I feel like it's a wrong turn here. Nothing, nothing more, Lenny? Nothing more? Alright. I'm just kind of following along because I don't know exactly where we're going. What? Oh! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Lenny. I'm sorry! Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Okay. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot True. at. <laughs> of course. At least Lenny is not an idiot, Arthur. They said right? find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? Mm. You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house okay. all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. I mean, yeah. yeah, I don't care to. War is ugly. War is not great. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. Okay. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Let's have us a nosy. <laughs> okay. Wait. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, hold up. You following back there? Did you just did he just draw that? Hear that? Someone's on the track. Bro, this guy just drew that? I thought I'm supposed to follow you. Look there. The wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Hey, that looked like dynamite in the back there? Yep. It looks like we're on to I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Okay. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Keep it steady. Hey, 
Big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. Uh, I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good enough to me. Okay, this must be taken from that wall up there. Okay. Bring your sighted rifle, okay? Bring my sighted li I'll rifle. Shit. Side. Okay, he just told me to bring it. You get him there. Okay. I I need the sighted rifle. <laughs> he just told me to get it. Use your weapon scope to investigate Shady. See anything through your scope? Just a moment. I'll wait on your set. You got men covering the house? Yeah, I'm seeing all over. Alright, some tents? Yeah, yeah. You got men everywhere. Off near the porch. Hey, move that scope over to the right. Okay. No, but I already did that. Bro, I, I hate the look of the scope, man. It hurts my eyes. Down by the road. We do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? We got something, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for performance. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna make a call? Um, We're gonna hit them head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. Oh, there he goes! Woohoo! Boy, here we go! Good old fashioned shooter. Sniper, baby. I'm down the He's going for the <laughs> Not shot. Keep your head down, kid. I'll take the shot. Bam! Lethal with the sniper. Yeah, peek your head out again. Peek your head out again. Oh, you lucky mother. Oh. Gotcha. Alrighty. It's not much left. Where are you running? Okay. Quick! Any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. These fellas dealing arms. There 
might be guns in these wags. Let's go, let's go. Just gonna loot a little bit as you know as we go. Just uh, like one or two of them as I go forward. You got anything? Oh yeah. Let's go. Anything? Still nothing. Hey, this could be promised. What do you got? Wait, oh, am I supposed to go at the back? Okay. Here. Come on. Ooh. This is full of new rifles. Nice. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back yep. to camp. Yep. Have to get out of here fast. Don't spare the nag. Come on. I understand, bro. Chill. Probably gonna have to shoot some people. Riders, coming our way. Keep it together here. Hey! Stop! What's the black? Oh, let's go! Oh, wrong way, wrong way. You showed us the right way! Leonard, Leonard, Leonard. I'm looking, alright? I can't see anyone chasing. Sorry, I. <laughs> I should think I, I, I thought my gun was away when I aimed at him, but boy, oh boy, <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to. <sighs> it's good to have something to show. Oh, like Lenny, this. you definitely Sean's did a lot. A loud mouth bragging. Don't worry about what Sean does. Yeah. Hey, I like him, you know. Well, so do I. Guess my better judgment. Just you worry about you. Mm -hmm. He wasn't on the Vinicus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of black. Oh yeah, Cornwall right. again, bro. Up. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts. We know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay. Okay then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Of course, Lenny. Of course. Okay, here we go. We brought some guns back. Let's go. Yeah. What was this mission called, anyway? Is this like... Oh, they're doing it themselves. I don't have to do anything now. Hey, the camp's in these trees up here. Let's get there. <laughs> Arthur, Lenny, coming yeah. back. Yeah. These are fine. Am right? I gonna take right? one, please? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. I mean, yeah. Anytime, I, Arthur. Of course I do. Did you see how I just freaking used that, used that freaking sniper rifle right there? Woo-wee. Bolt action rifle. <gasps> this is like the good one, right? This is the really good one. You all right? Yeah, I like this spot. It's a shame we never robbed that bank in Valentine, mm -hmm. though. Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, all right. All right. Appreciate you all. Please leave a like, hit the subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. A peace.